<clears throat> Mambo wa tungu wa zuri, I hope you all well. Jina lango nilijua and welcome to Lalaki Productions. So guys, today, 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 today. Well, not just today now. So I get I post six times a week. And for me, it goes in a two-week way. And on Mondays, it's motivation. On Thursdays, it's personal videos. And then on Saturdays, it's Yahweh centered videos, right? So I didn't really know what to film this week because my, my schedule just got mixed up bad, okay? But you just go with the flow. In this life, you just keep on, you know, you just, that's how we work in this life. We don't just sit and say, oh my gosh, oh, oh, now things can't happen. No, you go with what God gives you, right? And this other weekend, now, I didn't know what to do. And I was so frustrated with my Bible study because I was doing a study of Revelation. But then because Revelation has some deeper, deeper information, you, you have to have outside help or something to be understanding someone to do the research for you. And, you know, when I just be like, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. All right, all right, right? But then the videos that I was using for my revelation study, something happened to them. I'm not going to get into this too much drama. Then, then, guess what God did? He showed me Isaiah 43. Hey. Guys, if someone ever asks you, what is Lejoa's favorite chapter in the Bible? Isaiah 43. But when apart from Matthew 6, Isaiah 43. Hands down. Well, so... I'm sorry for the lighting changes. The sun came out and then it left and then there's a person. So let's just wait for him or her. Okay, I don't think this person's gonna leave, so I'm just gonna continue. Alright? So, because Isaiah 43 has 28 verses and the God-centered videos... Well, every video is God-centered, but the ones where you focus mainly on Him, you know, and His Word, are four times. So, if I divide 28 by 4, I get 7. So, for the, like, every month, yo, my her, my her, my her, my her, my her. So, on Mondays and Saturdays, for the next two weeks, I'll be doing a study of Isaiah 40. Okay, and this is my personal information that the Holy Spirit is telling me. I'm not saying that I'm like my interpretation is correct, and all of that is just I'm I'm, I'm speaking what I what what God put on my heart. Okay, okay. Now that that's out of the way, so today we're gonna start from verse one to seven, right? About Isaiah study, verse one to seven. So let us begin. Okay, Isaiah 43, verse, it says, let me just make space, <clears throat> it says, but now, this is what the Lord says, he who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, listen to the first fire, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by my name. You are mine. Really? Like, really? You just gotta start with that much fire? Are you serious? Like, are you... I, my heart. Like, I literally... Did y'all hear that? He even ends the verse and says, You are mine. Like, all clean. Imagine the creator of the universe telling you that. Let, let's carry on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then it says, verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. 
And mind you, in the Bible, waters represent trouble. So when he says, when when he says, when you go through the waters, I will be with you, he means in the troubles, he will be with you. Okay? And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. You will not be burnt. The flames will not set you ablaze. For, verse 3. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt for your ransom. Cush and Sheba, Seba. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sheba in your stead. Verse 4. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you. Did you hear that? And since you are precious and honored in my sight. So when he looks at you, he just sees. Wow. Wow. You know, he just sees his beloved child. Yo. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and he says, and because I love you. So if you ever say no one loves me, you're lying. You have a proof right there. One of the many verses in the Bible. I mean, Jesus is a whole love itself. The whole being of God is love. You know, he is love. He's the creator. And he says, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you. Nations in exchange for your life. Jai! Are nations. So he will give South Africa's. He will give Ethiopia's. For one person, he will give millions for one. In exchange for one person, he will give a full nation if they need it. One person. Yo, man, you don't know anything. <laughs> Let's carry on. Mm. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. You're listening. Ar, don't be afraid. <clears throat> don't let the spirit of fear come over you because he is with you. He who dwells in you. Hey, wait a minute. <clears throat> I will bring your children from the east and gather you from the west. I'll say to the north, give them up and to the south. Do not hold them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. So, verse 7. All these things, he said he will give nations in exchange for you. He will tell the East. Hmm? I mean, he will tell the North bring back my children right all of that he's he's indicating who he's talking to in verse 7 he says everyone who is who is called by my name whom i created for my glory whom i formed and made let's go back to genesis genesis right let's go back to genesis we're at genesis i guess Verse tw Genesis 1 verse 27. Bar. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Now, Ar, whom I created for my glory. Whom I formed and made. Or are male and female. Everybody on this end. Talking to you. Right? I hope you did hear the fire that I did put upon your life. And I pray that you received the word of God. Right? 
and i don't want to go in too deep let me tell you the reason why because a lot of people like depending on other people for their faith like the body must read the word every single day day and night right and you depend on other people to do that but you won't give god the, the time so what i want to do is i'm just going to give you surface level i'm just going to give you surface level and what god has put in my heart like the specific verses and the specific messages now you go and search them for yourself that's what i want you to do so now again i gave you the points now where i feel wow or oh, where my understanding is put you i want you to go deep i want you to dip deep in the words right because the bible always cross references itself you'll find the proof of this verse in this verse and the proof of that verse in that verse and the proof of this verse like it's always just cross referencing you know you can just go anywhere in the bible and find where another the bible never contradicts itself right so i want you i gave you the notes now i want you to come and do the things that need them to be done okay so guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video because guys, this chapter is like I'm going to Guys, this chapter I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go in deeper and just read it and meditate on everything. You know? So, yes. Thank you for watching. I pray that this has blessed you and you're speaking to me the way that I am. Good boy, Next episode, it just keeps on, keeps on building up, keeps on building up. In me, in Jesus' name, I pray that you receive this word. In Jesus' name, Amen. See you in the next episode, guys. I love you, and I am so excited. <laughs>